It is time for 2018 Phoenix football. Enter case number four. Put this up on the screen. There we go. Where? Oh, there it is. Now we're only doing an inner case, which is eight boxes. All right, so quick, somebody pick left or right. Real quick. Left or right. Somebody pick. I don't care, anybody. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay attention to whoever does it first. Left or right. Let's see, we got left, so we're going to do the left right now, and we'll leave this one for later. Boom, boom, boom. favor 10 left in prism I think you mentioned something about the Browns being gone let me see about that damn shout out <coughs> holy crap <coughs> damn That's the good shit. All right. The Cavs. The Pistons are gone. <clears throat> in Immaculate number four. About to die over here. Uh, the Browns are gone in Prism 5. And the Saints are gone in Prism 5. Ten left. In prism number five so a filler for the remaining teams I'll still keep it at that little discount I said earlier 79 bucks except now it would be 10 if Chase still wants a spot it would be nine left See if we can get that filled too. Hell yeah. Alright. Sorry about that though. Let's put the teams back up on the screen. Alright. Here we go. And as always. Good luck everybody. Thank you Abraham. Alright. Here we go. So in Prism Football number five, we have Bills, Broncos, Cardinals, Chiefs, Colts, Eagles, Giants, Jets, Packers, and Redskins. Yeah, Marcus, yeah, you gotta keep gotta keep track of your stuff, man. 
You be going balls deep sometimes, dog. What up, Big Greg? How was work, Big Greg? Tell me about it, Marcus. Tell me about it. But we got it done. That's the main thing. We're almost done with Phoenix. We got number five, and then that's it. No more. Alan Lazard, 299 Jaguars. I actually have an impeccable football case The that I just noticed we have. That stuff is nice. I'll put that in the store. I'm probably going to play with prices a little bit, lower it some. Deshaun Jackson, 299 bucks. Work was boring as hell. That's the best That's the best kind of job. Or work, I should say. You're just easy money. Just get paid to chill. Darius Fountain of the Colts to uh, 149 Me, personally, I'd rather be, like, doing stuff. You know, I don't really like being bored at work. Philip Rivers, 99 Chargers. You know, that way, you know, I feel like time goes a little bit faster if I'm busy. I'm pretty sure that applies to everybody. Uh, Connor Williams, 199 Cowboys. Okay, Chase, give me one second because I need to see what you're seeing. My man, shout out to Dan Gardner picking up a whole bunch of teams here uh, as of late. Chase also putting in some work. I see you play a pimp. Mark is about to roll something up his damn self. And we got nothing but freaking stoners in here. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so now a filler for Prism would be... No. No. I'll yeah, keep it at seventy nine. Should be a, should be about eighty three dollars. I'll keep it at seventy nine. Matter of fact, I'll drop it down some more, so we can fill this thing tonight. $75 a spot. Phil's Prism number five. Mike Evans, 199 bucks. Alex Smith, 149 Redskins. To 199. Carry on Johnson Lines Rookie Patch Auto. That's a good one. This is true, Big Greg. Ben Roethlisberger, 49 Steelers. Oh, dude, Marcus, how do you like it, bro? It's I know it's an amazing game. I could be playing right now, but, you know, not mad at all. Because check this out. A one of one, Sam Darnold, Cyan Plate. Unfortunately, not autographed. But it is still a one of one, Sam Darnold, Plate. Pretty sweet. Dante Pettis to 49. I'm sorry, to 7. I think it's 75. Yeah, 75. Uh, with a patch for the Niners. Yeah, tell me about it, Marcus. I, I know. Dude, I caught that yesterday. I was I was, you know, I was I was pretty stoned. Because that's what I like to do. I like I like getting stoned. I like playing video games. Keenan Allen 189 Chargers. And yeah, dude, I was why I was I was doing a mission. And then as I uh, as I'm getting off my horse and I'm like putting him like well, I'm hitching him or whatever, I turn around and I see the dude you know taking a shit. I'm like, damn. Andrew Luck, two ninety nine Colts. I'm like, damn, this is too realistic right now. <laughs> like even in the snow, every time you walk or take a, a, a step in the snow, you you leave a trail in the snow. It's pretty freaking awesome. 
it is pretty freaking it's 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 a crazy dude i love that game it's so good mj stewart 199 bucks i know there's no such thing as a perfect game but that's pretty close pretty freaking close Andrew Luck, 299 Colts. The graphics are ridiculous. Dak Prescott, 75 Cowboys. And I dude, I'm playing on a PlayStation 4. Mind you. If if I were playing on like a like a what you call it? On the PS4 Pro, the graphics are stupid on the PS4 Pro. Like it's 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 not a like a crazy big difference, but it's enough of a difference to be like, damn. From the PS4 to the PS4 Pro, it's like it's a it's a subtle subtle difference, but it is enough to be like, oh snap. And that's another thing, you know, if if you get a PS4 Pro, I, I would need to buy a 4K TV, and you know, I, I, I don't need all that. I'll invest in all that when the PS5 comes out. But for now, the PS4 is holding me down. You talking about, what, Red Dead Redemption 2, Big Greg? Look, if you're waiting for your friend to beat that game, you're going to be waiting a while, bruh. You're going to be waiting a while. If I were you, I would buy that game. Dude, I bought the game. And I never buy video games. I, I do the same thing you do, Big Rick. I'll just wait for a friend of mine to beat it. And then I'll play it kind of deal. Nah, player. And, and th this, this, this game warrants a purchase. Uh, Marcus, I probably did if, if you sent me a request. I should have. Alright, what's on the second one? Can't play online yet, which sucks, but it's coming. Duke Dawson, 99 Patriots. To 125, Kyle Lauletta, Giants, rookie patch auto. Anthony Miller, 199 Bears. Derek Nadi, 290, uh, 299. Chiefs, Jimmy G, 299 Niners. Nick Chubb, 199 Browns. LaShawn McCoy, 299 Bills. OG Howard to 50. The veteran patch autograph. Boom. Kyle got arrested today. Who is Kyle? Oh, Kyle Lauletta. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I heard about that. I heard about that. Does anybody know the details of his arrest, though? Did he Was he all like, fuck the police? And then, you know, just stormed off in a blaze of glory? You know, threw a blunt at the copper? That would be, that'd be baller. Ben Roethlisberger, Steeler, 199. You know, be all like, do you know who I am? I'm the future quarterback of the Giants, bitch. And then sped away. I never played Red Dead Revolver. I played Red Dead Redemption. I love that game. I feel, you know, as far as getting too bored, I kind of feel you, more, uh, Big Greg, because there is a lot to do in that game. So I, I can see how that can be overwhelming you to the point where it's like you're bored. Cause there's just there's just like too much to do. Tyreek Hill, two ninety nine Chiefs. You know, if you if you weren't if you were not a fan of Red Dead Redemption, then I would say stay away from this game because this is Red Dead Redemption two, which does everything the first game did good and made it better. Dylan Cantrell, seventy five Chargers, and the graphics are just out, the, ridiculous. The graphics. Keenan Allen, 299 Chargers. But, you know, I personally, I, I love adventure games. I like single-player games, so Red Dead Redemption 2 is right up my alley. J.J. Watt Texans to, uh, what's that, 199? Yeah. 
Hayden Hurst of the Ravens to 75, the patch. Marcel Aitman, 299 Raiders. JJ Nelson to 25 Cardinals. Yeah, that's yeah, I hear you on that. But you know, there's actually a way to unlock fast travel. I don't know if uh if anybody told you this. It's it's something that I kind of just discovered playing the game. Uh but if you uh you, you can buy maps from certain vendors in the in the world. Once you get all the maps, you unlock fast travel. So at that point, you could just like pick any location that you want to go to. Boom, you, you you're there in, in in seconds. But you know, for me, I like that though, Big Greg. Like I like I like the grind. You know, I, I like, clearly I like the grind. Look, look what I do for a living. So, you know, for me, I would I, I would actually like going out on my on my horse. Because then I could do like little side missions. You know, I could go hunting for bears. Or, you know, I could go hunting for, for wolves and, you know, different pelts and things like that. Brian, you would be correct because I feel it too. I see Panini points, 250 of them. Demarius Thomas, 299 Broncos. Wonder what he's going to look like with the Texans. Clay Matthews, 149 Packers. Deshaun Watson, 299 Texans. Dude, Mark is blowing up my phone right now. Oh, he gave me the whole rundown on the uh, La Letta situation. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Marcus. Uh, James Washington to 50 in Mason Rudolph. Dual patch auto for the Steelers. That's nice. That's real nice. That would That would probably be the big boom right there. Steelers, a filler team as well. What do we say, people? <clears throat> filler teams be hitting. It is one of the many commandments of this room. Filler teams be hitting. There you go, Brian. My man. Nice hit. Philip Rivers, 199 Chargers. Armani Watts, 99 Chiefs. A Saquon Barkley auto would be pretty awesome. David Johnson, 99 Cardinals. Amen, Brother Marcus. Amen. Dalton Schultz, 149 Cowboys. Yeehaw. Marcus Mariota, 299 Titans. Dak Prescott, 199 Cowboys. Ito Smith, 2 of 10 for the Falcons. Nice three-color patch right there. That's pretty sweet. Joshua Jackson, 299 Packers. Keenan Allen, 75 Chargers. 
I've been playing Red Dead Redemption for so long that I'm starting to get that accent too. Uh, Naheem Hines to 199 for the Colts. We got an AJ Green, 8 of 10 for the Bengals. That's a nice card. They, dude, matter of fact, yo, for those of you guys that play Red Dead Redemption, dude, you know there's like, uh, there's like baseball cards in that stuff, right? They have, uh, in the cigarette boxes, some of the cigarettes come with like little mini baseball cards in them, like trading cards. I thought that you guys would enjoy that for those of you, uh, that collect. Yeah, Marcus. I robbed the train, uh, without going into spoilers here, into the story, but I robbed the train last night, and I was like, because I, I, dude, it's all about loot, bro. You got, you got to, you, you got to, you got to loot people, you know? Whenever you kill somebody, you got to go through their dead body and, you know, take any other valuables away. So that's what I was doing. I was like retracing my steps through the train and I was like you know looting everything that I had missed and some dude had like a premium pack of cigarettes and I check it out and lo and behold there's like little mini cigarette like just how they used to do back in the day you have like little mini cards inside the cigarette boxes I thought that was a really nice touch Cause from what I know, that's that that's how they started. Was uh, as little mini cards inside cigarettes, cigarette boxes way back in the day, in the early 1900s. Or at least that's what that one documentary led me to believe, anyway. And that that's what it's about, Marcus. You're an outlaw. We got Ray Ray McLeod, 199 Bills. We got a Serrano Jones to 299 for the Buccaneers, rookie patch auto. Jarek McKinnon, 299 Niners. That's that's what I hear. I hear the what is it, the T20 to T209? Or something like that? Like, that set is, like, the rarest set in history or something like that. Todd Gurley, 149 Rams. Anthony Miller, 299 for the Bears. Dude, Bears got some nice young talent. They're going to be a really good team in the future. Like, they're, they're a really good team now. But championship-level team, I don't think they're yet. They're there yet. The Biscuit got to mature a little bit more, get some more, maybe get another weapon or two around them. But that defense is solid. They got the like they got the best run defense in the league, I think. Kirk Cousins, 75 Vikings. Tremaine uh, Edmonds, 299 Bills. Christian McCaffrey, 149 Panthers. Mike Jones, that came out of nowhere, Marcus. Who? Rasheem Green, 299 Seahawks. Le'Veon Bell, 199 Steelers. Exactly, Ray, exactly. I don't know. I still feel like he needs, you know, one, like, down-the-field receiver. I don't think he really, I don't think he's got that yet. You know, he's got weapons here and there, Tariq Cohen, Jordan Howard. But I, I don't think he has like a number one receiver just yet. My opinion anyway. Justin Jackson, 149 Chargers. Well, this they do got Taylor Gabriel. He's nice. 
Josh Allen of the Bills. Nice two-color uh, patch right there. Nine of ten, pretty sweet. Yeah, if if Anthony Miller can turn out to be uh, that number one receiver, Browns Browns got some weapons. Maybe Kevin White comes out of hiding. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes for ninety nine Chiefs. Whatever happened to Kevin White? I think they still got an APB out for that guy. Two for two ninety nine for Net Jags. Our money Watt seventy five Chiefs. But the biscuit still he he definitely still has to progress. He he still you know he still needs to read the defense. He'll get there though. Jay Rice two ninety nine Niners. You know, that unfortunately is one of those things that you just need the experience. You know. Do I think Le'Veon Bell's gonna play next week? I do. He has to. He has to report by next week. Otherwise. He can't be a free agent uh, next offseason or this offseason coming up. So he has to sign his – he he has to. He has to. He's got to sign uh, that franchise, the franchise tag, you know, play out the rest of the season, and then he'll be eligible to be an unrestricted free agent in the offseason. Yeah, Ray right, Ray, right. they had a chance to do it today, but I don't think they could have they I don't think they could have done it because he still hasn't signed. I think I think that's why they couldn't do it. I think Le'Veon kinda kinda fucked them over on that one. Again, I don't know how that works. I'm just, you know, assuming here, but I I don't think they traded him because technically he hasn't signed with the team yet. I, th I think that's how that... I think that's why. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't trade him because he didn't sign the tender. Man, Le'Veon Bell has like all of the leverage. You know, at this point, if I'm dude, if, at this point, if I'm Le'Veon Bell, I'm gonna sign that tender, and I'm gonna tell them boys like, yo, honestly, don't even bother playing me, <laughs> because I'm just gonna take a knee every snap. No, that would probably look bad for him, but at the same time, you know, I don't want it to be like an Earl Thomas situation where he does go out there and play, and then he breaks his freaking leg, and then he's out for like a year and a half. You know, you came this far, you might as well go all the way with it. Le'Veon Bell is going to go to a contender. Speaking of Le'Veon Bell, 299 Steelers. Who do you guys think will pick him up? Matter of fact, who do you, who, who's, who's willing to step up to the table to take that on? Deshaun Watson, 299 Texans. Kyle Lauletta, 299. Rookie patch auto for the Giants. I think Le'Veon Bell with the Eagles would be ridiculous. You know, you got you got to put a guy like that on a contender. Got to. Aaron Donald, 75 Rams. Imagine Le'Veon Bell with Tom Brady. Oh, my God. Carry on Johnson 189 Lions. That would be a ridiculous pairing. Tom Brady 189 Patriots. As much as I hate to say it, it makes too much sense for Le'Veon to sign with the Patriots. Mason Rudolph 99 Steelers. Although, you know, they are notorious for not wanting to pay players. So that'll be interesting to see. Alvin Kamara 149 Saints. Terry Bradshaw, 299 Steelers. Dude, Big Greg, James Conner was nice in college, man. He he put up some big numbers in, in Pittsburgh. Terrell Edmonds, Steelers. You know, he is a Pittsburgh boy through and through. 
Mark Walton Bengals patch to 100. I could see him going to the Eagles. I could see him going to the Vikings. Ooh. Baker Mayfield, 299 Browns. Ooh, what if Le'Veon Bell went to the Browns randomly? Zeke Elliott, 199 Cowboys. Josh Rosen, 75 Cardinals. Or come on down to Miami. Cole Beasley, 199 Cowboys. Bradley Chubb. That's a sick hit right there for the Broncos. Number to 125. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Veteran base doesn't ship, so taking it out as I go. All right, three boxes left. Le'Veon Bell going to San Francisco. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. You know, get Jimmy G back healthy. Get Le'Veon Bell. They, they got some decent receivers out there. I dude, I, I like Melvin Gordon. I like Melvin Gordon. Is he not performing well this year? I did not for nothing, but uh, I've had Melvin Gordon in my fantasy football team since he was a rookie, and that kid, he gets in the end zone. So for fantasy football purposes, I, I like Melvin Gordon. Interesting, Marcus, interesting. You think that's what's going to happen, Big Greg? Le'Veon Bell's going to get paid and just be okay on a different team? I hope the opposite. I hope he balls out of control. And the Steelers are just there like, huh? Maybe we should have paid him. Oh, so Melvin Gordon got hurt. Damn, not cool. Well, there's a patch back here for AB. Antonio Brown of the Steelers to 100. Devontae Adams, 99 Packers. Ooh, what if he plays for the Packers? And that's a good one right there. Sammy D. Cam Dacey, there you go, Sam Darnold, rookie patch auto for the Jets, number 46 of 50, that's a good card, dude, Le'Veon Bell with the Packers would be amazing, oh, that would be so nice, Case Keenum, 149 Broncos, Mind you, Aaron Rodgers has never played with a dominant running back. Or a good one at that. Khalil Mack, 299 uh, Raiders. Jim Brown, 299 Browns. Yeah, Le'Veon Bell with the Chargers. Hmm. It'd be it'd be nice. He'd definitely look good in that in that in uh in that uniform. Jerome Baker, one forty nine Chargers. You know, somebody mentioned it earlier too. You know, the Steelers O line is pretty freaking good. So you could put anybody back there. They're probably gonna get numbers. Melvin Gordon, one eighty nine Chargers. Add that on top of the fact that historically the Pittsburgh Steelers have always been a run first team. Even though now they, you know, they probably pass the ball more than they run, 
they, they still have a huge emphasis on the run. So, I, I, I am of the thought, Julio Jones, 199 Falcons there. I'm of the thought that it doesn't matter who you put back there, they're still going to get good numbers. As long as you run north-south. Aaron Rodgers, Packers, 299, the old linemen, were gonna, they're, they're going to open up those holes. You just got to hit them and follow your blockers. But, dude, I don't, I don't know, Big Greg. You know, I, I think people are letting this situation jade their thoughts. Le'Veon Bell is pretty freaking good, man. Kiki Kuti of the Texans patched to 100. When he's healthy, I think he's the best running back in the league. He can do it all. Ray Ray McLeod, 75 Bills. Ooh, or what about Le'Veon Bell with the Texans? That'd be nice. Peyton Manning, 49 Colts. I just want to see the guy succeed, is all. That's all. Josh Allen, 199 Bills. Unless your name is Tom Brady, I just want to see you succeed. I, I, I want nothing but the best for you. Harold Landry, 299 Titans. Jamal Moore, 299 Packers. I would, yeah, I would have to agree. Right now, Gurley is the best running back in the league. Yes, I would agree. Jimmy G, 199 Niners. I agree. I agree, Marcus. Agreed. You know, while he is a good, you know, running back or player, he is expendable for the Steelers. You know, the Steelers should have should have been more proactive. You know, they, they didn't call, you know, because my boy was not bluffing. So they should have figured something out. A trade something. Been some good hits in this uh, case so far. <laughs> Ray, <laughs> the the kid, the kid does not like Tom Brady. Neither do I. So uh, you know, I'm gonna have to agree with. Well, no, well, that's pretty intense. That's pretty intense. All, all I say is, I hope he breaks his neck. You know, you could break your neck and you still be alive. You know, you'll be okay. You're just not going to play football ever again. You know, I also say things like, I hope he breaks his, his legs. You know? I, I hope he breaks his elbow. I hope he breaks his shoulder. Or dislocates his shoulder. You know, I say things like that. But, yeah. Break your spinal cord? That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty up there. That's pretty up there. I don't, I don't think I would push it to that level. That's, yeah, Chase, you're, you're at about a 10. No, you're at about a 12. I need you like at a five. All right, what do we got here? Justin Jackson, 199 Chargers. Speaking of Tony Romo, I really like him as an announcer. Patrick Mahomes, 299 Chiefs. Uh, but Jason Witten, mm, not so much. 199 Anthony Miller, Bears, Ricky Bad Joe. I think Phillip Rivers is better than Tom Brady. Okay, now Chase, now, see now, now you're just talking nonsense. Go to sleep. J j just go to sleep. AJ Green, 189 Bengals. Even even though I hate Tom Brady, I can, I can respect him enough and acknowledge his greatness to the point where I know that man is the greatest of all time. Of our generation. Of my generation. Phillip Rivers does not hold a candle to Tom Brady. Phillip Rivers can't even wear Tom Brady's jockstrap. All right. 
Chase, go to sleep, dog. You've had a long day. You know. Just, 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 just call her tonight. Just call her tonight. And yeah, exactly. And whatever you're smoking, you know, Sharon is caring. Todd Gurley, 189 Rams. Christian McCaffrey, 199 Panthers. Calvin Johnson, Megatron, 299 Lions. Tony Romo, better than Joe Buck. Fuck yeah. Dude, Joe Buck is, oh God, don't, oh. Uh, oh, uh, almost as bad as Tony Kornheiser. Remember that guy? John Kelly, 299 Rams. Royce Freeman to 25. Sneaky two-color patch there for the Broncos. Pass it to the left. This is all you know. Always, you know. That 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 is the rule. Dems is the rules. Lamar Jackson, one forty nine Ravens. Zay Jones, two ninety nine Bills. Don't get me wrong. Philip Rivers is a great quarterback. Like great, 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 great quarterback. But better than Tom Brady? Nah. Roquan, 99, Bears. A.J. Green, 25, Bengals. T.Y. Hilton, 149, Colts. Ray says Phillip Rivers might be better than Baker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would agree with that. Coolsies. Comes down to the last box mojo. What do we have here? A Darius Guys RPS Rookie Jumbo Auto Swatch Orange. That goes to the Redskins. I wish this kid didn't get hurt. You know, I think uh, when he comes back... He's going to low-key take the lead by storm. Darius Geis was sick in college for LSU. And the last box here. You know, low-key, Saquon Barkley, as a rookie, is probably the second best running back in the league. Like, low-key. Like, very low-key. I would put Gurley 1. Uh, the dude out there for the Chiefs 2. I forget his name right now. And three, Saquon. As a rookie! Yeah, it is pretty thick. It is pretty thick. I'm assuming to throw off the pack hunters, Ray. You know how that is. I've literally seen people at Target and Walmart with, like, scales, weighing packs, trying to figure out where the hits are at. Mahomes, <laughs> not, <laughs> not Mahomes, uh, what's that kid's name, bro, the running back for the Chiefs, dude, Chase, I never paid it any mind until like now, Kareem Hunt, there it is, I would put Gurley 1, Hunt 2, Barkley 3. Those would be my top three running backs right now. Dude, that's... Cr the fact that Saquon is putting up the numbers he's putting up, one, as a rookie, and two, with that garbage-ass O-line? Marcus, dude, look at the numbers, man. Look at the numbers, bro. Barkley is putting up stupid numbers week in, week out. I mean, he is the only, low-key, the only offense they got going, but still, as a rookie, man, well, 50 yards rushing, but, you know, he's also had 50 yards, pat, you know, receiving, Marcus, 
Like, dude, look at his stats, man. The, the kid does everything. Catches, runs, blocks. I don't. I don't know if I would put Zeke in the in the, in, in the in the top three right now. I think he's kind of underperforming right now. I, I think Zeke is taking a bit of a dip this year. I mean, look at the yeah. I'm just numbers don't lie. Look at the numbers, man. Just look at the numbers. Anthony Miller, two ninety nine. What the heck? It's a little, it's a little stuck there. Two ninety nine there. Are you kidding me? Two Sam Darnolds. Two Sam Darnold rookie patch autos in the same case. Ridiculous. Who was the best defensive rookie of the year? Uh, I would probably have to say Denzel Ward. Aaron Rodgers, 149 Packers. I want to say like 89, 79 Marcus, something like that. Kirk Cousins, 299 Vikings. Jared Goff, 199 Rams. Denzel, yeah, yeah. Den Derwin James is another kid that's putting up stupid numbers as a rookie. I was hoping Minka would have, you know, a little bit big, a little bit of a better season, but, you know, those Dolphins have, man, injuries just all over the place. Deshaun Han, 99 Lions. You read my mind, Mark. I was going to say Derwin, but not a lot of people, you know, know about that kid. That kid's a beast. Harold Landry, Titans, 149. Matthew Stafford, 299 Lions. That's what I said, right? I said Denzel Ward is probably going to be Defensive Player of the Year. Cole Beasley, 189 Cowboys. Well, Chase, of course you're going to say that because you're a Chargers fan. I mean, come on. Ben Roethlisberger, Steelers, to 100. Like, if you ask me, I'm going to tell you Dan Marino's the greatest quarterback ever. No discussion. But unlike you, I can look past my, you know, my bias and, you know, tell you the real deal, Holyfield. Christian Kirk of the Cardinals to 75. But I, I will admit, Derwin James is a fucking beast. And it pains me to say this because he's a Florida State guy. And as a UM guy, fuck that. J.J. Watt, 299 Texans. But the kid, the, he could do it all, man. That guy can do it all. He can cover. He can he play the ball. The, the, he's a ball hawk. He's got the speed. He can knock you the fuck out. And he's smart as shit. Like, he can read defenses like or the offense. Derwin James is a beast. Aaron Rodgers, 75, Packers. But with all that being said, Denzel Ward does the exact same thing. But as a cornerback, you know how hard that is to do as a rookie corner? At least at the safety position, you can see the entire field. At the corner, you have like a portion of the field that you can see. Deron Payne, 75 Redskins. You know, at least at the safety position, you can see the quarterback. Can't really do that at the corner. You know, you're, you're too busy trying to, you know, trying to hold off your man. Carry on, 199 Lions. We have Jamal Moore, 199 Packers, rookie badge auto. And I think that's going to wrap this up. Mike Evans, 299 Bucks. And yes, sir, that is going to do it for the break. All right. So let me go through this real quick. Got him. Dude, I think Ray, I think everybody's on the same on the same 
page as you. I, I, I didn't think Denzel Ward was going to be. I knew he was going to be good. Because I saw him play in college in Ohio State. Shut down corner in college. But I, I didn't think he was going to be as big of a game changer as he has been for that Browns team, man. That kid is that kid's a beast. Anyways, let's see what these uh, Panini points are going to. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you read my mind again, Ray. I was going to say, Marcus, Zeke is second in the NFL in rushing. Where is he at in receiving yards amongst running backs? And then look up Saquon. I get the feeling Saquon's maybe number one, if not number two. But number one, that's not fun. Eleven times. Oh, 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 Marcus, oh. Oh. Well, that, that's, that's why I say... I don't think Zeke will ever get to that, you know. I Listen, I think Zeke is great. Top five running back in the game. But he's not a complete back. He, you know, he, he's he's a traditional running back. Workhorse. Down, down to rush 30. Down to rush, uh, you know, 30 times in a game. No problem. No problem. Excuse me. But can he catch the ball? He probably can, but it's not really his game. Saquon Barkley can do it all, dude. He can run. He can catch. He can block. He can do it all. There's nothing on the football field that Saquon Barkley cannot do. As a rookie. Marcus, that's dude, that's not the that's not the point we're trying to make. We're, the whole point we're making is all-around running back who is the best all-around running back and to be the best all-around running back you got to catch the football that's just how it is in the nfl nowadays man you can't you can't really be successful just running the ball you also got to catch out the backfield you know i got to be able to line you up uh, you know out wide and you got to be able to catch a pass I, you know i got to count on you to run a route if i have to sometimes that's just the NFL. That, that's that's the league we play in nowadays. Anyways. Well, Mark, maybe they're just not utilizing him to his utmost potential then. All right, so we're going to go 11 times. Top name gets 250 pretty points. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with Mark on this one. I think they got to give uh, Zeke the ball, you know, a little bit in the flat. Maybe maybe split him out wide, you know, a little bit. You know, the Cowboys are already hurting for receivers as it is. So, the, you know, it, it's all about putting the ball in your best player's hands, Marcus. So, you know, everybody can't be Marshall Falk, but you know what? There's a lot of running backs right now that looked up to Marshall Falk. And in the long run, maybe could be better. <laughs> Who knows, man? Anyways, boom! 11 times, the top team Eagles, they're getting uh, 250 points. Dude, Saquon Barkley has over 1,000 total yards of offense as a rookie. That is That is crazy. That is ridiculous. With that O-line, too? <clears throat> That's a crazy stat. All right. Anyways, let's put this list back up here because that's the only thing I had to random. So, Eagles getting 250. Patches. We got Kirk, Cardinals, uh, 75. Roethlisberger, Steelers, 100. Freeman, Broncos, 25. Kuti, Texans, 100. Brown Steelers 100, Walton Bengals 100, Allen Bills to 10, Smith of the Falcons to 10, Hurst Ravens 75, and Pettis Niners 75. We have here Jamal Moore Packers 189, Darius Guys Redskins Redemption, Anthony Miller Bears 189. J. Moore Packers, 299. Bradley Chubb, Broncos, 125. Kyle Lauletta, Giants, 99. He tried to run over a cop? Are you serious? 
Uh, Anthony Miller of the Bears, 299. Tom Brady is close to 1,000 yards rushing for his career. If anybody, I think it's 1,000. I think somebody, I think it is 1,000. Uh, Ronald Jones, Bucks, 299. O.J. Howard of the Bucks, to 50. Kyle Lauletta, Giants, 125. Carrion Johnson, Lions, 199. Darius Fountain of the Colts, 149. Yeah, I'd take Zeke on my team any day over the... Oof. Well, Marcus, we know what team you you root for. We also got a Christian Kirk of the Cardinals. 5 of 10. AJ Green Bengals, 8 of 10. I would say this. If I have to choose between Zeke or Saquon, I think either way, I'm going to be fucking happy. Like, both great running backs... I don't think you I don't think you could go wrong there, honestly. We got a dual auto. I know Marcus. I just like to bust your balls. <laughs> uh dual patch auto for the Steelers, James Washington, Mason Rudolph. 42 and 50. A Sam Darnold 101 Cyan plate. Just need the ink in the machine and you can print as many as you like. Got a Sam Darnold rookie patch auto, not once but twice. Look at that. For the Jets. Are you kidding me? One is numbered 9 of 50 and the other is 46 of 50. Two rookie patch autos for Sam Darnold in one inner. Jets crushed it. And that was the break. Thank you, folks.